Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial are these star or flower uh, hot pads, or I use them as wall hangings too. So they're really easy to make. Um, where is my... This one is a acrylic six millimeter hook. Point to point is right at nine inches. Now acrylic yarn with a five millimeter hook eight inches. Now I've made these with five and a half, four, four and a half millimeter hook. My favorite is probably the five millimeter. I like them because they're sturdier and uh, they, they're perfect for wall hangs because they're not floppy. Now you can make these out of acrylic for hot pads. Don't use acrylic, or I'm sorry, you can use the cotton for hot pads. Don't use the acrylic for hot pads. Um, they will they will not stand up to a hot the bottom of a hot pot or pan or anything like that um but yeah i make these all the time perfect for gifts um so for the two i have here i just used let's see this is a hobby lobby and a karen one pounder and then this i just used some scrap yarn i had in my room Red Heart Super Saver Jade, and then I think this is coffee, if I believe. Red Heart Super Saver Coffee. But you are gonna need, I've used for this one a five millimeter hook. You're gonna need scissors, a yarn needle, and definitely, 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 you're gonna need stitch markers. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitch markers. Nine stitch markers. One to mark the very beginning stitch of each row and then eight, the other eight to keep track of the points of our star or flower, whatever you want to call it. I highly recommend you use stitch markers. Whatever you use as a stitch marker doesn't matter. I just, I would highly recommend you use them because it is easy to get lost in this pattern. Okay, so get your stuff together, a cotton or acrylic, whatever you wanna do, and let's get started. Okay, to get started, we are going to get a chain of seven. Well, get a slip stitch, a slip knot on your hook first. Now we're gonna chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're gonna come back and slip stitch to that first chain to form a little ring. All right, now working over our tail, we're gonna work 16 double crochet into our ring. First, we're gonna chain one, <laughs> I should have said that chain one and now 16 double crochet into the ring and make sure you're working over that tail so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, that's round one. Getting some slack here. All right, that was round one. We're gonna move on to round two. We slip stitch to our first double crochet. Pull that tight a little bit. I'll weave that in later. Okay, so for round two, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark that slip stitch that we just made. Not the double crochet, but the slip stitch. Right in there. All right, oops, split that. So mark your slip stitch 
with a stitch marker or your strand of yarn, whatever you have, mark that. Okay, so for round two, we're gonna chain 21. But first, we're gonna stop at chain 11 and we're gonna mark that. So we're gonna chain one, two, three, make sure they're loose, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now I went past 11 so I can just get that a clear shot of, um, a clear view of the 11th chain. Now I'm gonna mark that with a stitch marker. Okay, so that's 11, we did 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Now without twisting our chain, we're gonna come back down to our 16 doubles and we're gonna skip the next double and slip stitch into the next. Okay, make sure your twain, your twain, <laughs> your chain isn't twisted. <laughs> and then we're gonna repeat that again. We're gonna chain 21, but we're gonna stop and mark that 11th. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I went past 11 so I can get a good shot of that, or, or, yeah, I went past 11 so I can get a good shot of that chain. 11, so I have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Don't twist your chain, come down, skip the next double, slip stitch into the next double. Okay, so there's two petals we've made. Now we need eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys work three, four, five, six, and seven, and then come back here and we're gonna, we're gonna work the uh, eighth petal, okay? So you're just gonna repeat what we just did. Chain 11, mark that 11th. I go to 12 so I can get a clear shot of that 11th chain. Uh, go to 21, skip the next double, slip stitch into the next. Skip, slip stitch, skip, slip stitch. Okay, so go ahead and you've got one and two, so work three, four, five, six, and seven, and then come back and we're gonna do eight together, okay? So we'll be right back. Okay, so I've just finished my seventh petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm gonna chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I go to 12 so I can get a clear shot of that 11th chain. Catch that loop. There's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, so now we come down, don't twist your chain, remember. We're gonna come down and we're gonna slip stitch right into that slip stitch we have marked. Don't twist your chain. It's gonna be a little tighter, there we go. And we are gonna slip stitch right in there. Okay, all right, so that was the end of round two. So now we're gonna move on to round three, and this is the first round of single crochets around our petals. So what we are going to do now is we're gonna single crochet right into that very first single right there. Now you're gonna have to scoot down those slip stitches we worked, right? So we're gonna slip stitch right into that chain or I'm sorry, single crochet right into that chain. And then we're gonna mark that first single. Okay. All right, so now if you didn't use stitch markers on your petals, you are gonna single crochet into 10 chains, three into the 11th for round three. Now round four, you're gonna single crochet into is it 11? Yeah, you're gonna single crochet into 11 and then uh, 
three single crochet into the twelfth and so on but since we're using stitch markers we don't have to count we can just single crochet into each chain right up to that stitch marker that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the eleventh Come on now. Nine and ten. All right, now we're going to work three into our eleventh. One, two, and three. And we are going to mark that second one. So now whenever, uh, if you're not using stitch markers and on round four, you're going to single crochet into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then three into the twelfth. And then on round five, it's going to increase again. And then round six, it increases again. So it's so much easier just to use a stitch marker instead of spending all that time counting. You can just single crochet away and not even have to, you know, not have to count any of it. So go ahead and single crochet down this side of your chain. I need to get me some slack here. Just about there. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so that's our first pedal. Now, our second pedal, we got to skip that slip stitch and go right straight into that first single. So, I wanted to show you guys a real easy way that I've kind of taught myself to be able to identify the slip stitches that we need to skip on every pedal. So, if you look, you, here's our chains, right? And then if you look, that very first chain, it looks like a heart and then a belt around the bottom of the heart. It's kind of squeezing the bottom of the heart. There, that is our slip stitch. That's what we need to skip. And then we need to go right into the side of that heart and then there's our chains. That's just a little way I identify. <laughs> so I find my belt, there's my heart, go right into the side and single crochet. So all we're going to do for this entire round is just single crochet into each chain up to our stitch markers, up to our stitch marker, three into the stitch marker, put the stitch marker back in the second, come down, skip your slip stitch, identify your heart and your belt if you need to, then single crochet up to your stitch marker, three in the stitch marker, put the stitch marker back into the second and repeat that all around each petal and I'm going to meet you guys when we come back to our very first stitch our very first uh, single crochet I mean okay so I've come around and I've made it back to the beginning I have one more chain I need to single crochet into oh dang it there we go Okay, so this is the end of round three, and I am gonna change colors. Now, if you don't, if you're not changing colors, just hold on just a second, and I'll show you guys in a minute what to do. But to change colors, I am going to slip stitch right into that first single chain one. And I'm gonna pull up a loop with a little bit of tails to weave in later. And I'm going to attach my new color with a sti uh, slip stitch. Put a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to go right in there and work a slip stitch. Chain one. I'm going to tighten that down. And 
and then I'm going to single crochet right back into there again and then single in each single now this is round uh, four now I'm just going to single crochet into each single all the way up to my stitch marker now if you're not using a stitch marker you're single crocheting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this round okay and then we're just going to repeat what we have been except for this time after we get past the uh you know the three into the stitch marker put the stitch marker into the second one come down we just single crochet straight across now like I said if you're not using stitch markers it's going to be 11 11 3 into the 12th okay so you guys go ahead and do that now if you're not changing color oh I forgot put your stitch marker back into your very first stitch okay all right now if you're not changing color this is the one I have going on the side here all right if you are not going to change color all you're going to do is remove your stitch marker and just keep single crocheting away single crochet right back in there don't forget mark your very first stitch your very first single very important because for this one I am not changing colors on the uh, single crochet rounds because I want the, cent the center of the star or flower to be this variegated color. Now without slip stitching, chaining one, single crocheting into the first single, just single crocheting across it, it's so easy to get lost and you're not going to see what round you're on. So always mark that first single crochet and then you just keep single crocheting along. So like this star, flower, whatnot, I am using just strands of yarn for my stitch markers. Okay, so same thing all the way around each petal, and you're going to notice your petals are going to want to naturally start curling, and that is what we want. Now make sure you're, you know, catching every petal as you're working around and you're not accidentally skipping one or something. Okay, so go ahead and finish round four, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm coming around to the end of round four. I have two more single crochet I need to work into. One, and there's that last one. All right, now I'm gonna change colors again. So I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. I'm gonna slip stitch to that very first single. Chain one, pull up a loop snip pull that tight and I'm going to toss it to the back get a slip knot on my hook I'm going to go right into that same single crochet that I worked into slip stitch I'm just going to tighten that down chain one go right back in there with a single don't forget to mark it. Always mark your first single. And then I'm going to move on with round five, following the same concept. It's just this time, if you're not using stitch markers, you are going to be single crocheting into the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and the thirteenth single crochet gets the three singles. Alright, so this is, what did I say, round five, right? One, two, three, four, five, yep. This is round five. So go ahead and repeat three singles into the single with the stitch marker. Put the stitch marker in the second. Single crochet along. Remember, if you're not using stitch markers, it's uh, 12 and 12. Three into this one, the stitch marker into the second, and all around. And it's looking a little wonky still, but if we lay it down and twist all of our petals, that's how we're looking. Now, just like I showed you guys before, if you are not changing colors, 
remove your stitch marker, single, oh, I have one more single to crochet to work into. <laughs> there. Now, remove your stitch marker, single crochet right into your first single, and keep going along. Don't forget, mark that first one. Always, always, always mark that first single. And then we keep moving along for round five. All right? So make it all the way around all your petals and then come back here and we are going to move on to round six. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round five. Got a few more to go into. Okay, back to the beginning. So now I'm gonna change color again. I put my stitch marker in my mouth, I couldn't talk. <laughs> so I'm gonna slip stitch to my first single, chain one, pull up a loop so I can weave that in. Tighten that down. Get a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to go right back into that same stitch, that same single, slip stitch, tighten that down, chain one, single crochet right back in there. Don't forget, mark it. Okay, so this is round six, and the last round of single crochets around our petals. So now we're going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and into the fourteenth gets the three, and then the stitch marker goes into the second, and then you're just gonna repeat that all the way around again. Now, if you're not gonna change colors, it's the same deal. single crochet straight across just don't forget mark that very first single and then just keep working around and around and around and this is the I don't remember if I said this or not this is the last round we're going to be working around our petal after this we start a border all right so go ahead and work all the way around your petals and come back here and then we're going to work the last two rounds. Okay. Come right back. Alrighty. I have finally made it around. I'm coming to the last few stitches of round six. One more. And there we go. There's the end of round six. So regardless of whether you're changing color or not, we are going to slip stitch to the very first single, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. Now I am going to take a break here and I'm going to get all these ends weaved in just to get them out of the way. But if you lay out your piece, this is what it should be looking like. Looks pretty. Now we're going to work a border around the top of each of these, well I have one done, around the top of each of our petals and that's what gives us that pretty shape. Okay, but like I said, I'm going to take a break, I'm going to get all these ends weaved in, get my other, stuff, my other hot pad finished and then we're going to move on to the last two rounds. So get your ends weaved in and uh, we'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've gotten all my ends weaved in and got it all cleaned up. So now I've gotten all my petals twisted and laid down. Now if you look at this, round one is facing up and then round two, three, four, and so on. And then the back of the uh, single crochets are what's facing up. Well, I like it better if we flip it over and then the front of the single crochets are what's at the top of the petals. So yeah, round one is upside down, but I, I like it personally this way. If you like it better the other way, you can go ahead and flip it back over. 
So to move on to round seven, we're gonna get a slip knot on our hook. Okay, now grab any one of your petals and from your stitch mark marker, count over five single crochets to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna mess that up a little bit so I don't lose it. Now I'm gonna go right in there with the slip stitch, chain one, and I'm gonna single crochet right back in there. Tighten this down. Now I'm gonna single crochet right up to that stitch marker. Three into the stitch. Oops. One two and three put your stitch marker into the second one and now we're going to single crochet five down this side one two three four and five All right, crochet hooks got the squeaks okay so we finished this petal now we're going to set this down and grab this, the next petal and count five to the right. One, two, three, four, and five. So I'm just going to grab it and kind of mess up the side of the stitch so I know where it is. I'm going to come over and single crochet right into that fifth single. And I'm doing it a little tighter to kind of try and keep the gap as closed as I can. So that's one. We're going to single crochet up to our stitch marker. So that's three, four, and five. Remove your stitch marker, three single into the next. And three, put your stitch marker back into the second single. And that is what we're gonna repeat around for round seven. So, oh, I about forgot. Single crochet five down this side. One, two, three, four, and five. Set that down, pick up your next petal. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna single crochet right into that fifth. Two, three, four, and five. All right, so repeat that all the way around and I will meet you on the eighth petal. Okay, so I've made it back around, and if your hot pad is all bunched up like that, that's perfectly normal, perfectly fine. I'm just gonna tug on it a little bit and it'll come out of it. Okay, so to end round seven, I'm gonna slip stitch to our very first single crochet. chain one and then to start round eight in our last round I'm going to single crochet right back in there and continue what we had been doing single crochet into each single and then into the single crochet that has the stitch marker we're gonna work our three single. This time we don't have to replace our stitch marker. And now we just single crochet to that next stitch marker. And that's it. Just repeat that all around. It's still gonna to wanna, to, you know, bunch up like that on you. So just, you can just tug on it and it'll come out of it. All right, so repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I'm coming back around. I have two more I need to work into. All right, slip stitch to the first. Chain one, pull up a loop. Cut and we are done. Weave in your ends, and if you guys want to make this a, a wall hanging, you can uh, 
chain a long piece, cut it, and then tie it back around, or just tie it like that. But there you go. There is your hot pad slash wall hanging. Here's the other one I was working on. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Check out the description box. I got all kinds of stuff down there for you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.